back again with yet another video, and this is going to be a uh, Pearl Jam collection video. I uh, figured this would be the uh, perfect time to do another Pearl Jam collection video with them about to be inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, which is uh, definitely awesome, definitely deserving uh, Pearl Jam. Easily my uh, favorite band, uh, definitely favorite band to collect for, and uh, I did a Pearl Jam vinyl collection, I think it was a little bit over a year ago, and I can honestly say that uh, I've been fortunate enough and uh, lucky enough um, to actually track down uh, quite a bit of Pearl Jam albums that I've had on my want list uh, for a very long time, and uh, definitely have added a lot more since that, that first collection video that I... Uh, filmed uh, probably over a year ago now, uh, so I figured definitely with them going into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and uh, definitely feel like I've added enough to actually uh, make another video. And uh, I'm going to try to stick uh, mostly just with uh, uh, Pearl Jam and uh, I mean there's so many side projects they've done with like uh, stuff that they did you know prior to Pearl Jam like Mother Love Bone and uh, Green River and uh, Temple of the Dog, and, and then you got their side projects like uh, Random and Brad, like all those, all those type of stuff. I have albums, se se several albums like that, that I just don't want this video to be overly, overly long. So I'm kind of uh, more or less focusing on uh, just the uh, Pearl Jam vinyl that I have, and uh, it's gonna start showing them off, and uh, hopefully not, hopefully will not make this video. Uh, too long, but uh, I'm going to try to go through them as quick as possible. Uh, I'm going to start with the uh, studio albums, uh, of course. Of course, you got to have uh, their first album, uh, Ten. This is uh, the original copy of Ten, and then I do have the uh, like Pearl Jam, uh, one that came out with in like 2009. Um, it has uh, the original mix of Ten and the uh, remix of Ten. Uh, not a huge fan of the uh, remix of 10. Uh, definitely prefer, prefer the original mix, and that could just be because I'm used to it. Uh, I've listened to the, the remix version maybe once or twice, and uh, it just doesn't really do anything for me. Uh, it just could, could be just because of uh, I'm more of a fan and more used to the original mix, but uh, every time I listen to 10, I'm definitely going to go uh, with the original over the remix. But, uh, I mean, of course, I mean, first album, definitely iconic. And then from there you go with uh, Versus. I actually have two original copies of Versus uh, for some reason, but definitely can never have too many copies of uh, Versus. Just, I mean, so many great songs on Versus. And then you have Vitalogy. I do have the uh, original 1994 uh copy of Vitalogy, and I do have the 2012 uh, reissue of Vitalogy. Uh, I honestly prefer uh, the original copy over the uh, the reissue, although I do like the fact that they split the reissue into two LPs, and this one's just on one, but uh, definitely sounds a lot better uh, the original one does. And then, uh, I mean, I kind of always throw this album as a uh, part of the, uh, the Pearl Jam albums. It's uh, Neil Young Mirrorball featuring Pearl Jam. Uh, this is an original 1995 copy. Just an amazing album. Uh, Neil Young was actually supposed to originally uh, induct Pearl Jam into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, but apparently it's going to be uh, David Letterman now. So hopefully hopefully Neil Young's alright. But uh, nonetheless, fantastic album from uh, Neil Young and Pearl Jam. Then you go with uh, No Code. And this is the original 1996 copy. And then I do have uh, the uh, reissue that came out with last year. Uh, actually, I actually have two of them. At one point in time, I actually had the uh, grand idea of uh, trying to get all the Polaroids. And I uh, bought two of the reissues, and luckily, uh, two of the two reissues that I did buy, they were different sets. But I figured I would probably end up with like 10 different copies of uh, No Code. And my luck, I would probably have you know most of the same set. So I figured. I uh, probably shouldn't uh, go with, with that anymore, maybe just try to find the sets individually or something. And, uh, and of course the original copy of No Code I set that I have, when I bought the, my, my first reissue of No Code, it was the same set that was in that one, so go figure. 
but I do have uh, I do have an original copy of Yield, and then I do have the uh, reissue of uh, Yield as well that came out with last year. And then they got an original copy of uh, Riot Act. Just absolutely love Riot Act. It's a great album. I probably say that with a lot of uh, Pearl Jam albums. I was really, uh, depending on the day, I'm sure my favorite album from Pearl Jam will change uh, constantly. And then an album I just picked up not too long ago. I actually just did a uh, video uh, showing a really in-depth look at it. And it's uh, Pearl Jam Lost Dogs. Uh, this is an original uh, 2003 copy that I actually bought uh, sealed and I actually did a sealed to reveal type of video um, just in this was about a week or two ago so uh, definitely check that out if you want to get a more closer look at this album and uh, definitely not going to take it out of the sleeve and show it. I don't really need to make this video any longer but uh, just an amazing album a lot of cool uh, b-sides and rarities And then you got uh, Pearl Jam Avocado. This is the original uh, 2006 copy. I also do have the uh, Counterfeit Bootleg copy that came out with uh, a couple of years ago. And this one is on blue vinyl. Uh, definitely can't go wrong with Avocado. I bought this one actually first, the uh, Bootleg Avocado, Bootleg Unofficial Counterfeit, whatever you want to call it. Uh, then I got lucky and actually came across um, this one and had to pick it up. So, uh, definitely a lot of great songs on, on uh, Avocado. Then you got uh, Backspacer. It's a really uh, cool album as well. Um, a lot of people's probably least favorite album from Pearl Jam Backspacer, but uh, I mean, I can honestly say my least favorite Pearl Jam is probably. One of my still one of my favorite albums uh, altogether. Because um, to me, they really don't have a bad album. Uh, and of course, uh, their last album that they came out with back in 2013, it's a Lightning Bolt, uh, an album that I, when it first came out with, and uh, I really wasn't a huge fan of it. But the more and more I listen to it, yeah, I really do enjoy it. It's a really solid album. Uh, Honestly, like a, a better than Backspacer. Um, and like I said, I mean, Pearl Jam, like, their worst album is still very, very, very good. And uh, it's a solid album from them as well. I mean, there's not really a Pearl Jam album that I just completely dislike. I definitely can say that with 100% uh, honesty. Um, and I do, that's all the uh, studio albums that I actually have. Of course, I'm missing uh, Binaural. Uh, hof hopefully one day we'll be able to come across an original copy, or uh, hopefully I'll just reissue it and I'll be able to get the, uh, the reissue copy. But uh, not, not holding my breath that it's going to happen anytime soon, but uh, you never know. But I do have a few uh, like live albums and uh, kind of cut bootleg albums to show as well. Uh, these are uh, unofficial live albums that you know, just kind of find at uh, various stores. Uh, this is Pearl Jam live in Chicago, uh, March 28, 1992. At least that's what, the, that's what it says on the uh, cover. Then I have uh, live from Melbourne, Australia, March 5th, uh, 1998. Cover is really just nothing really uh, that spectacular to look at. It's just a, it's actually just a white sleeve with a piece of paper with a set list in it. Then I have uh, Pearl Jam 5 Alive, which is uh, from February February 22nd, uh, 1992. Some of those albums that she's behind, and, and it's maybe not the best quality, but a lot of those shows are actually from radio broadcasts, so the quality isn't too terrible. And I do have some uh, official... Uh, live Pearl Jam albums. Of course, you got a Pearl Jam Live on Ten Legs. I don't have Pearl Jam Live on Two Legs. That is one of the uh, another album that I am missing that I eventually need to come across. But this is the uh, uh, box set of Live on Ten Legs, and uh, I actually just picked this up recently as well. So really cool. It's got the CD and the album and a bunch of other 
uh, stuff in the box as well. I'll actually probably show a closer look at this one in my next vinyl finds video. Like I said, I actually just recently got this uh, just a couple of weeks ago. Then I do have the uh, Pearl Jam live at Third Man Records from uh, June 9th, 2016. It's a really, really great sounding album. Uh, a version of Of the Earth with Jack White sounds absolutely uh, phenomenal. And I do have uh, a few of the uh, Vault releases as well. I have uh, Vault, Vault 4, which is uh, Mount Baker Theater, um, May 10th, 2000. Which really was, what is really cool about this is they play a lot of uh, binaural on this uh, concert. Uh, so kind of a nice uh, placeholder until I actually get the studio album of Binaural. At least I have uh, this with a lot of the songs on it. I think there's only like three songs that they don't play. And this is uh, Vault 5, which is from uh, Aladdin Theater, uh, November 30th, 1993. And then the uh, latest Vault that they've come out with is uh, from the Great Western Form on July 13th. Uh, 1998. Really, really enjoy the vault sets and always looking forward uh, to them coming out every year. Definitely still need to eventually get my hands on the Vault 3 as well. Um, and I do have a couple of, uh, of course, Eddie Vedder uh, solo albums, of course, Into the Wild, uh, the soundtrack to the movie that Eddie Vedder did um, the majority of the uh, songs on. Um, great movie, great soundtrack. I mean, just I mean, it's an Eddie Vedder solo album, and uh, it's a lot of, like, Hard Sons, Fantastic, Society, uh, Far Behind, just a lot of great songs on here, and, uh, of course, ukulele songs as well from uh, Eddie Vedder, another one that, uh, it's just really solid. Hopefully Eddie Vedder uh, does uh, another solo album uh, here soon, or I hope in a solo tour or something soon with, uh, with Eddie Vedder, but... Uh, that is all the actual albums that I have to show um, from Pearl Jam and Eddie Vedder. So those was in there as well. I do have a few uh, singles to show as well. I have, uh, and these are in no particular order, um, but I have uh, Eddie Vedder, Love Boat Captain, with the uh, B-side being a wish list, and it's uh, him doing them live acoustic from, uh, I want to say 2011, but it was a... Uh, 2012 Record Store Day release. Then I have the uh, Eagles of Death Metal, uh, Pearl Jam, Matt Cameron, a single with the first the A side being um, I Want You So Hard, Boys Bad News, which is live from uh, November 22nd, 2015 in Brazil. And then Matt Cameron doing a version of I Love You All the Time. And then I have uh, a few of the uh, Singles that they just recently came out with again last year. Of course, there's Hail Hail with the uh, back side being uh, black, red, and yellow. Uh, Given a Fly and Leather Man. Off He Goes and Dead Man. And this is actually an original copy of uh, Who Are You with the B side being Habit from uh, No Code. They have the uh, reissue of Versus or of. Uh, Pearl Jam Immortality with the B-side being uh, Rear Rearview Mirror, which came out with uh, celebrating the reissues of Versus and Vitology. It was a record store day release, I want to say 2011 or 12 as well. And this is uh, Not For You and the B-side being Out of My Mind. And we have a, uh, this is actually a bootleg as well. It's a live uh, 1983 performance of Alive. And the uh, B side is actually just a 1993 uh, Christmas single. Then I have the 1995 Christmas single, which is a two uh, 45 single set, and uh, some cool stuff on there. I really enjoy the uh, cover as well. And then I do actually have an original copy of the 1993 Christmas single, which is, of course, Angel. This is a really cool song as well. Um, that is all the stuff I have to show. I uh, definitely don't have everything, don't have all the uh, fan club singles or anything like that. Uh, maybe one day, but uh, definitely still felt like I had a, 
enough stuff to show to do another Pearl Jam collection video and uh, perfect timing with them going into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame which uh, definitely deserving but uh, hopefully this video wasn't overly long and uh, again guys thanks for watching I hope to have another video up soon